Hi, hello, my name is Kat and welcome to the coziest corner of the internet. Today I am finally making a video that is highly requested in the comments. We're talking all about cozy games that are couch co-op. My partner and I both love video games, but sometimes it's kind of hard to find a game that is both of our vibes and that we're both going to like. But when we do finally find a game that kind of fits both of our styles, we get really hyper fixated and can't put it down for a while. So this list is a bunch of different games from games that me and my partner have played, games I've played with my friends, or games that my mom and I used to play for hours and hours on end. Hopefully there's a few in here that maybe you haven't tried before or that you've been thinking about, but some of these are absolute classics that I do really highly recommend you pick up if you haven't already. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to the list. First on the list is one that I like to call the less relationship breaking version of Overcooked. It's Moving Out. Moving Out is a ridiculous physics-based moving simulator that brings new meaning to couch co-op. Are you ready for an exciting career in furniture? As a newly certified furniture arrangement and relocation technician, you'll take on moving jobs all across the busy town of Packmore. Smooth Moves may not be the biggest moving company, but there's no task too dangerous or strange for this busy team of go-getters. Grow your business to brave new heights, recruit colorful customizable characters, and save your town from furniture peril. These types of games can definitely get frustrating, but I find this one much easier and linear than the others in the genre. It's a fun puzzle game to play together and the graphics are insanely cute. This game is available on all consoles and PC. One that I've played three times over with different people, the next on the list is Luigi's Mansion 3. An invitation to a swanky hotel holiday with Mario and co. How could Luigi refuse such an offer? However, this dream getaway soon turns into a nightmare when ghosts start to run amok and his royal ghoulishness King Boo traps Mario and friends inside paintings. Join the cowardly hero Luigi on a ghostly and gooey quest to save Mario and friends in Luigi's Mansion 3 for Nintendo Switch. You and a friend can traverse the otherworldly floors of a haunted hotel in local co-op, battling mischievous ghosts and solving paranormal puzzles together. I love this game and the new co-op mechanic. Unlike other couch co-op attempts by Nintendo, I think the Gooigi character is actually quite fleshed out and it feels like you have a lot to do. In fact, the game is much easier played with a friend, so I would encourage you to try it out. This next game might seem obvious, but it's been me and my partner's absolute obsession lately. It's Minecraft. Build together, surge together, have fun together. The world of Minecraft is even better when explored with your best buds. Get crafty and use the surrounding environment to gather building materials. See how breaking down trees can help you create something new. It's always best to avoid the unpredictable by distancing yourself from wandering mobs. You never know what'll happen if they get too close. Discover all the versatile ways dust from the redstone ore can be used to enhance your creations, bring them to life, or give them some bang. I've always loved Minecraft, whether it's spending hours in creative mode, following a YouTube video, or building a huge compound with some friends online. I've sunk a good amount of time into this game. <laughs> Lately, however, Jack and I have discovered the Nintendo Switch couch co-op mode with split screen, which we've been enjoying a lot, especially when our Wi-Fi is down. Since we both have the game, we also sometimes switch over to local network play and play handheld side by side. It's nice having so many options to play and having a friend or partner that can do all the scary mining is a huge plus for me. Next on the list is one I've only heard rave reviews for, it's Unravel 2. When you cut ties to the past, new bonds form, and Unravel 2 create a Yarny of your very own. Then build relationships with other Yarnies in local co-op or as a single player, fostering friendships and support as you journey together. Begin your adventure in a cold and imposing land, then watch your surroundings blossom with new life as you chase the spark of adventure. Dive into an immersive story filled with energy, exuberance, inspiration, even monsters. Approach every challenge with positivity and fearlessness to awaken the world around you. Discover an unbreakable bond between friends. The graphics in this game are stunning, and I've heard great things about the co-op play. Unravel 2 is also available on all consoles and PC. One of my all-time favorite games, Spirit Fair, is next on the list. Spirit Fair is a cozy management game about dying. You play Stella, fairy master to the deceased, a Spirit Fair. Build a boat to explore the world, then befriend and care for spirits before finally releasing them into the afterlife. Farm, mine, fish, harvest, cook, and craft your way across mystical seas. Join the adventure as Daffodil the Cat in two-player cooperative play. Spend relaxing quality time with your spirit passengers, create lasting memories, and ultimately learn how to say goodbye to your cherished friends. What will you leave behind? This game will leave you reeling from its emotional themes and storylines, so it's a great one to buddy up with or for a cute date night. The couch co-op includes one player playing as Daffodil the cat, and you have limited abilities compared to Stella, but can still do quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of the co-op in Mario Odyssey, where it's much more about experiencing the game together than truly being built for co-op. Spiritfarer is available on all consoles and PC. Another beautifully designed game, the next on the list is Haven. 
You and Kay have escaped to a forgotten planet, leaving everything they knew behind. Explore the planet looking for parts and material to fix your ship and make it a cozy home. Enjoy moments of everyday life as a relatable couple while cooking meals, crafting, and collecting precious resources to make it to the next day. Fight against those trying to tear you apart by synchronizing actions in combat, finding the perfect timing and rhythm. In this unexpected RPG adventure, explore the beautifully eerie and unstable planet while also enjoying the thrilling soundtrack. This game is best enjoyed as two-player, with both players controlling each character. Haven is available on all consoles and PC. I had a great time playing this game on stream with my friend Scarlett. It's called It Takes Two. Embark on the craziest journey of your life in It Takes Two, a genre-bending platform adventure created purely for co-op. Invite a friend to join for free with Friends Pass and work together across a huge variety of gleefully disruptive gameplay challenges. Play as the clashing couple, Cody and May, two humans turned into dolls by a magic spell. Together trapped in a fantastical world where the unpredictable hides around every corner, they're reluctantly challenged with saving their fractured relationship. Master unique and connected character abilities in every new level. Help each other across an abundance of unexpected obstacles and laugh out loud moments. Kick gangster squirrels furry tails, pilot a pair of underpants, DJ a buzzing nightclub, and bobsled through a magical snow globe. Embrace a heartfelt and hilarious story where narrative and gameplay weave into a uniquely metaphorical experience. It's the reason this game has won so many awards and why it's built exclusively to be played co-op. You'll cry, you'll laugh, you'll most likely relate to one of the two characters. This is a particularly great game for couples to play together as the themes will hit home one way or another, and the puzzles will definitely challenge your communication skills. It Takes Two is available on all consoles and PC. Last on the list has been in my backlog for way too long, it's Untitled Goose Game. It's a lovely morning in the village and you are a horrible goose. Untitled Goose Game is a slapstick stealth sandbox where you are a goose let loose on an unsuspecting village. Try and say that three times fast. Make your way around town from people's back gardens to the high street shops to the village green, setting up pranks, stealing hats, honking a lot, and generally ruining everyone's day. Double the goose shenanigans when you play this game co-op. There is no split screen, so you'll have to work together in the same area to torment the local villagers. This game is available on all consoles and PC as well. Anyways, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer playing games with friends or partners or are you more of a solo gamer? And as always, if you enjoyed the video so far, please do make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to hear of more content. I'm looking forward to releasing more content soon in my new flat, in my new office. So expect this background to change the next time you see me. And if you wanna come hang out and watch me play games, I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash cozygamercat. Come on over and say hi, we'd love to have you. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you have the coziest day and I'll see you next time. Bye.